Alright folks, welcome to a brand new game of Mafia 3. Uh, this game's been out for a while, but right now, this next week, it's on sale for 20 bucks on the Xbox Live, if, if y'all are interested. Uh, say that me. But, uh, I do do aim assist, because I can't see anymore. I'm a blind old man. I'm not gonna lie. So, we're going to do medium, because I'm not skilled enough for the hard yet, but we'll enjoy it, take our time, and have a good old, good old time. Now, as this game plays and whatnot, y'all might hear my southern accent kick in really thick around here. I don't know. So... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they're basically telling you that this game took place in the 1960s. And it just happened. So, let's see how it goes. I like the old stills that they got going on. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux, safe, family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Well, that was pretty good intro. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what else. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Now, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running hmm. black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He How was loaned out to me via a joint run? CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. When, when do you get to start playing Good the boy. game? Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve. But often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, never get it back again. Hmm. That's when he returned from the war, life. Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Well, do I get to play now? Let's see how it goes. Feed a gator, two chickens, 75 cents. <laughs> yeah. Mr. 
still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Okay, yeah, faster baby has been successfully installed. Got that. Lincoln, pick up the keys. Get the keys. All right, I'll go get the keys. Thought you were next to the keys, though. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. We agreed his partner to make it look good. If you got doubts, why take the chance? Hmm. Can't close that door, so let's go down. We should get going. You got the keys, so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What? How the hell am I supposed to get out the door? Over here? Oh. Why am I running? Town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Because when you met me, baby, oh, that you poor fuck back say. there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about to not like he'll be able to spend it. Feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. And them cars so answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Are you going to answer the question or what? Yeah. We on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. The MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. It's not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. So you're trying to do this without drawing the cops attention. So you gotta follow all the tracks. Traffic light. Jeez. Trying to rob a place and can't do it because of the traffic. <laughs> that means it's true. Gotta go. WNBX 790. WNBX. There's a way to get in the first person.
keep driving it straight. Uh-oh, just blew through a stop sign. Okay, that music's good. What the hell? What is that guy doing behind me? I'm not sure if I like this radio. Dude's got a clown head on. What is this, Mardi Gras? Can't be Mardi Gras season yet. Guy's got a big old head. Oh, here we go. Now some music I like. Yes, I'm old. <laughs> that lady jaywalking. Guys at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Gotta pull off here. And yes, you probably will hear some of that southern action. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Back it up to the loading dock. Sure. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, ain't like I've never been called nigga before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. All right, let's see what we got. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Should be something right there. Now, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scattergun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One last goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Guy's an asshole. <laughs> Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. It ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. I guess you gotta stand in a certain spot right there, huh? 
bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Yeah, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Sound I told him I wasn't down. in. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> Let's move this guy outside. Oh, shit. All right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. We've been written out. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. I told them they needed to be out for two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the least get. Okay, let's pick up this trench gun. Come on, we need to get this vault open. Pick up this guy. All right, quick switch. Oh, I hope this domination skeleton got us this legit. The next question is, is there an alarm on this thing? Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Until Danny's done drilling. Hey, you gonna pull this off? Yeah, right. This guy's a straight dick. Take cover. This gun ain't got no. Here they come. Try open the armor gate. Give me that damn thing. All right. Let's see. Some 
smaller. There we go. We're in. Ooh. Oh, yes. Hey. Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's huh. and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. Hmm. Hush. Oh, you just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? <laughs> People around here, they don't. They don't get it. <sighs> Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Oh, sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> how was the trip? Being how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> well, I think this would be a good stopping point for me. For today, we'll go ahead and stop it here.